This is the very first video I'm recording in 2016. My video schedule gets a little ahead, so you saw some videos in 2016 probably, but this is the first one I'm actually recording in 2016. So Happy New Year to all of you guys. My New Year's resolution was to grow some hair and that didn't work, so I'm back doing train reviews with you and videos for my channel. Now today we've got something very special. It is the Bachman Easy App locomotives. Lots of buzz around these products. They are Bluetooth enabled locomotives, which means you control the locomotives through your Bluetooth device. Uh, in this case, it will be an Apple device. That's the only thing available at this time. So we'll download the Apple app, uh, the Bachman Easy app, show you how that process works. And then we'll focus in on the technology of these locomotives. So MSRP is 239 for what I have here which is the GP35 and the RS3. So these are uh, 239 MSRP. Street price is a lot lower, available at online retailers, brick and mortar hobby shops of your choosing. I always put a link below to Train World because they have good prices on Bachman products and other products. So they uh, will usually be very competitive in pricing. The locomotives themselves, we won't be taking too much of a detailed look. We've done Bachman diesels before, and I believe we've done these diesels before. So we're going to take a look at the technology in this review primarily. So 239 MSRP, RS3, and GP35 review coming up right now with the Bachman Easy App Locos. We're going to unbox one of these very, very quickly to show you what you get out of the box. As you see, the Bachman Easy App box is different. Of course, I say very, very quickly, and then it gets stuck in the box. But you got your locomotive here. You have a quick start guide for the Easy App equipped locomotives. I'll read through all that and show you guys how to set up the app. You've got exploded parts diagram, one year warranty, or I'm sorry, not one see what do we got here? At the Spanish side, I don't know Spanish. I think it's 90 day warranty. Limited lifetime warranty. So, limited lifetime warranty there. US and Canada. And the warranty card. And you can request a Bachman Williams catalog which I hear is about to come out again this year, so I'm excited to see what products are available in that catalog. Then you got the locomotive itself out of the box. Basic, simple plastic there to, plastic bracing there to hold it in. Let's go ahead and take a 360 degree view of this and the other locomotive. Here's the Alco RS3. So the first time I've introduced 360 degree views in my review videos, but this is what I plan on doing in the future. So you can see all sides in one shot without the constant up and down moving. So here's the GP35 and Great Northern scheme. This is road number 3021. And we're going to show you all sides of this locomotive. Just like so. Gonna save going over the details because we need to allot some time for the actual technology with the Bluetooth. So what we have here is an iPod 5th generation I think? I don't know. iPod Touch. I usually get one every time it comes out but I lose track. Um, gonna go to the App Store here and we are going to allow the internet to wake up. Not now, Apple. Leave me alone. So I'm going to go to search. And I'm going to type in... It tells me to type in Bachman Easy App. You see it loads... I'm just going to go Bachman Easy and see if that pops up. Yep, there it is. I'm going to get that there. 
I'm going to install it. And that's all there is to installing the app. So I've entered my password now, and as you can see, the app is appearing, but it's loading, so it's going to take a minute. So we'll wait for this to load, and we will open it up to begin exploring the Easy App controls. So what I've done is applied power to the track. I'm going to click on the Bachman Easy App. Now, you have to have power applied to the track before you do this, according to the Quick Start Guide. And then you click the locomotive, and there are your controls. Now, there's a startup button you need to hit before anything occurs, so we'll hit that. Now, this is different because the sound is not coming from the locomotive. It's coming from your Apple device. So, in terms of sounds, I'm guessing when I start hitting sounds here, bell. That's all going to come from the Apple device. Not the locomotive. So you can switch directions, forward and reverse. Sorry, I'm just a little off screen here. Let's start over. Bell. Horn. Longer horn. That's the short horn above. Forward and reverse. You can hear the reverser stopping the loco and then you've got the actual speed here so when we move this up a little bit the locomotive moves the rpms increase with sounds on the easy app <laughs> it's kind of hard to fit all this in a viewpoint so i'm going to go ahead and reverse here And that's what you have there. So, a little interesting uh, when you think about it because I thought the sounds would still come from the locomotive, but they're actually coming from the app, which is different. I guess no matter where your locomotive is on the layout, your sounds will be right there centered with you. So, that is that test. I forgot to check the headlight. Headlight works. So, everything works as advertised in the app so far. Let's go ahead and test out whether the locomotive works on DCC regular control so I'm gonna shut down this switch over to my DCC controller off camera I just did a whole series of tests on this easy app locomotive the first thing I did was I powered DCC onto my track cut off the Wi-Fi signal cut off the Bluetooth signal to see if the locomotive responds to DCC commands under address 3 or even the cab number. I got no response in terms of DCC commands. So I believe, and I checked DC as well, switching over to DC and ramping up the voltage. So I believe, I could be wrong, and I'll put a note if I'm wrong, that these locomotives operate exclusively and only under this app. So couple interesting notes that I've noticed during this testing is the sound comes from the phone or iPod or whatever the Apple device is, and they are not able to be used on DC or DCC, but they are exclusive to this app. So with that said, the last test to check is we're going to go ahead and power this on here. And Bachman claims that there is a hundred feet radius for this. So I'm going to go a hundred feet. I've actually marked that in my home. Can just go a hundred feet away. I've got it marked out and I'm gonna test this by trying to move the locomotive. Obviously any sounds I test are gonna come from my phone so that does nothing in terms of testing. So I'm going to move the locomotive from a hundred feet and see if that works.
All right, didn't realize I had it in reverse, but it obviously moved. So the 100 feet test works. Lots of questions about this Easy App, and I'm trying to get those questions answered here in this review. So we only have one set of speed steps on this. Um, so we're going to see what it does on a crawl. That's about crawling. And that is where we're at on the actual app. So now we're going to see if it can handle two, and just to give Bachman a fair shake, I'm going to, well, we'll go ahead and try to add the second one to the track, see if it just picks up. If not, the instruction manual said you really need to turn the app off and back on, so to give them a fair shake, you really are supposed to turn the app back on and back off, but I, the app was running because I didn't close it. But the other one popped up. Um, to actually close the app completely on this new interface, you have to double click. Oops, that's Siri. To double click and swipe up to close the app. So, but, so I left the app open really and both of them popped up there. So we can quickly test the second one. I don't know if that's the second one or not because I have fat fingers here. I guess it was running all along, I don't know. It's still the first one. Must have put the second one up top. Growing pains, folks, growing pains. All right, so we're gonna start this one up. Sounds like they have different sounds even. So the sounds are programmed correctly. And there goes that one. So that one's moving. So. Looks like the sounds were a little different, so maybe they actually programmed the correct sounds. You soundophobes would know all about that. But that is your Bachman Easy app. We have now tested everything I can about these locomotives. I hope this clarifies a lot of those questions about the Easy app locomotives out there. But it'll be fun for folks with Bluetooth to be able to run for those guys that really like technology. I have an iPad upstairs too. But I figured with the small screen we could just do this. But they work on iPad, iPhones, etc. You just have to be able to download that app. So let's go ahead and wrap this review up. Well, there you have it the new Bachman Easy App locomotives. Technology is really starting to flourish in our model railroading products. So this gives you a little taste of the future. Bachman appears to be on the leading edge of the Bluetooth game. So this is their first product. A couple things that I was surprised to see was that all the sound comes from the actual Apple device, not the locomotive. It's not a bad thing. I just don't know if some folks are going to like to have that on the locomotive or on the Apple device. You know, there's a large audience I'm talking to, so there's going to be mixed feelings. Um, having the sounds on the Apple device gives you a little bit of a benefit in terms of the sound being right there with you at all times and the Bluetooth control having a large range is nice as well we test it up to a hundred feet DCC not operated on DCC or DC from what I can tell again if I'm wrong I'll put a note in the video because I make mistakes in testing too but that's what I uh, observed there and the fact that you can have this technology is pretty cool because a lot of people enjoy their smart devices for a range of things. I know guys that control both their house, their alarm, their thermostat, their garage door, everything from apps. I've got all of those minus the garage door, but overall the apps are all there in one device or your TV, you know, so if you're trying to consolidate down devices and you're wanting these easy app locomotives, you can run trains, watch your TV, do all that stuff with this great technology. So I don't make opinions of products when they're 
such a large audience unless something is just wrong and I don't see anything wrong here so your opinion is what matters you can chime in below or vote with your wallet like I always suggest but overall it's very important to show you this new technology so you can see exactly what's out there so I'm gonna leave you with a quick run by of these two locomotives running with the easy app on my layout and we'll see you next time right here on my channel take care <sighs>